Today we're going to look at exporting information using Data Export Manager in PowerSchool. Once you've logged into PowerSchool, you can go up to the upper left and you'll click on Importing and Exporting. Then you'll click on Data Export Manager. Now in Data Export Manager, you have predefined sets of Power Queries that are put together based off of categories, tables, and fields. Here you'll see a list of PowerSchool data sets that are put together, and here are all the available tables or fields that you can extract when choosing that particular category. Now I'm going to scroll up to the top, and I'm going to select the Tables category. And from the Export From area dropdown, I'm going to select Students. On the left, you can collapse these fields or uh, tables to show you what fields you're selecting from. So I'm going to go ahead and open or expand the students again. Let's choose um, enroll status. Let's go with entry date, exit date, maybe something like grade level. And we'll do last first for the name. Now you'll notice on the right, last first is at the bottom. That would be the last column. So I want to, I want it to be the first column. So I'll click the blue up arrows and I'll walk it all the way up to the top so that it's the first column on my spreadsheet. I'll hit next. You'll see we have no students. So I'm going to add some filters. greater than or equal to. And I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to say exit date. Less than or equal to December 30th. This should pull all the students that have an exit date within that date range. If you click show records, it'll give you a list on that screen of all those students. I'm going to hit next. You see we have 48 students. I can go back to my start page, run a pre-formatted object report or any other type of report against those students to pull that information. But right now I'm just going to hit export. And it'll export it into a text file that I can open with my favorite spreadsheet program. We can save this as a template by hitting save template, giving the template a name. If you want, you can add a description. Once you have your information filled in, you hit Save. And click on the My Templates tab. And you can verify that your template was saved in the system. Now, if you don't want to create a template for each month, say in this case where you want to see the exit dates or students that have exited month to month, you can go back into this template, come back to this page where the filters are, and then change your date range. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to November 1st and November 30th. If we hit next and then click export, this will export our text file with the exit dates in that November month range.